oven filter in the back. And I got some pictures here, but if you guys start smelling uh, like cigarette smoke or something, I advise you change your cabin filter because this puppy here I just pulled out. I got some other pictures. It was full of leaves. Uh, top of acorns and everything it came out of this it goes inside here I'll put this one back until I get my other one because I don't want any of those leaves to get into uh, but it slides in here like this uh, like, you know it slides in like this this one's kind of broken up because it hasn't been changed since I was bought. I'm gonna put it in here. It goes in the back of your glove box like that. And uh, this cover snaps over it. You have to hold on. You got to like two little snaps on each side. You just pinch them to take the cover off. And that's where your cabin filter is. This is the glove box on the bottom. You gotta reattach the, uh, the side cable here. Like this. And then you have these little latches here on the side. I'm gonna put the because this is my cell phone. I'm trying to put it in a good place so you can see it here. See, it, po it pops on. Hold on. It pops on like that. You got to kind of push the glove box in. Hold on. Let's see if I can show you this on this one. You got to push the glove box in so you can tip this front part in like this and it kind of holds, holds it like that. It kind of, you have to kind of tip it out. But that's it anyway. But uh, I would definitely change your uh, cabin filter in your Hyundai Sonata. Mine's a, mine's a 2009. So definitely change it if you have allergies and stuff like that. You, got, you should change that every year because this thing apparently hasn't been changed since the car was sold.